Stay tuned for this. Don't get uh, fooled by the name and touch. There'll be heavy contact out there. And particularly whenever you see an Australian and New Zealand team come up against each other, it's going to be physical. Definitely. There's nothing like this kind of rivalry. It doesn't matter the sport, but on display tonight, we've got the two best nations in the world. What a treat. What a, spect- what a spectacle. I can't wait to get underway. We're ready to go here, both teams. On-field New Zealand kick starters to get us underway in this game. Looking to level the series. E4 Jones, what a game he had. And he was a big component of that electric start that they had last night. Norman this time answers the call and comes up and puts pressure on him. Forks will play it. Nice ball. Oh, Jones. Oh, it's popped up here. Notley. He's hard to pick down in space. But look at the chase here. Barnett going back at him. Notley kicks away again. And Finn gets it done. Great recovery. Wow, there's not many people that have run down Jake Notley in open space. And Barnett, they're showing why he's one of the best wingers in the world. That's right. Incredible effort there from Finn Barnett just to make sure that, hey, we're not lying down. We're going we're gonna to give you everything we've got tonight. Hennessy to Corey Russell. Puts the ball in one hand. Jeez, that's close. We saw on the earlier play, just before the intercept, Corey Russell rising really quickly off the line to try and shut down E4 Jones. I think they've identified that he's a, th- a threat. And equally, on the Australian side, we've got Dylan Hennessy now with the ball in hand. Here he is, crabbing across field. They make the touch on him. And they've picked up an incorrect play of the ball. So good recovery there from New Zealand. Off the intercept there from Notley and put them in great attacking position. Only wasn't able to go the distance. As Palau comes up and makes the touch. In uh, today's earlier game, this was actually a period of the the field that New Zealand sort of struggled in so it's good to see them getting um, some good metres underway early on in this game Pulled a rain out across field Graham links back up it's Kurukanga and straightens up and Pudurangi plays out the back Davids has to reach for it back in to Kurukanga nice ball movement here from New Zealand and Pudurangi from half straightens up plays out the back Graham a little bit of space for them here pops it out and it goes over the sideline. Just ran out of space there, but that option uh, both ways with the depth for the link position is, is really an option that New Zealand should continue to explore as we see Australia make their way back down the field. It's Edwards gets him going forward. German Bob, good contact. Play on is the call. Kurukanga gets back to his feet. Jamin Bob gets on the outside of his shoulder this time around. Moffat picks up from half, gets into the in-goal area. Jamin Bob loses his footing. And coming into the in-goal area, ball down. Incredible, incredible pace shown by Australia early on this this match. It's going to be up to the defensive end for New Zealand to really slow that down. E4 Jones over the halfway line. They pick up and go. Nice work. Into the in-goal area they go, looking for support. Oh, running out of room. Referees are just going to consolidate here and just compare notes to see what they think happened. Tony Calabria just meeting with, with Kim Skelly in the corner. It looks like there might be a penalty against Australia for perhaps a heavy touch. A bit of holding and potentially off the ball. It was nice work from Felix Hilton from half. Just picked up and go. Showed a good turn to speed to get into the in-goal area. Great opportunity here for New Zealand to strike first. Sinclair plays it, receives it back. Go short ball, slipping in between defenders. Looks good from here. E4 oh. Jones, yes. A little bit of push and shove as well. We spoke about E4 Jones being a real threat to New Zealand, uh, to, to Australia tonight, and what an excellent start that they've come up with tonight. Many simply just holding the ball up slightly. E4 Jones changing his line, and a great try to open up the night for New Zealand. Yeah, it was lovely work from Sinclair, wasn't a Good ball play. He, again, caught the ball on the out, straightened up and came back in, which just opened up that inside lane. And lovely try there for New Zealand to strike first. Just like they did last night in game one. Hennessy, though, gets into the in-goal area this time himself. Still getting away. Notley around the back. Well, that is a classy finish with work to do. He actually scored it with his body still in the field of play. Reached forward as his body was progressing towards the sideline. What a finish there from Notley. Incredibly athletic try. Let's see if we can pull it up on the replay very shortly. We can see Dylan Hennessy. Massive room in the middle there. New Zealand will have a look at that if they in their review phase. Just a great catch and go 
by Notley just to stretch out and get that try. Dots the ball down right on the line. Yeah, this will look good from the reverse angle as well, as you can see, Hennessy getting himself into the in goal era. Yeah, that's a great finish from Notley. He was pretty pumped up at the end of that one as well. Oof, as we see now flying through the air. And Barnett and Palau running into each other. It'll be a nice battle between those two players out here. The experience and youth of Finn Barnett and coming up against Jonathan Palau, one of the stalwarts for the Australian team. Edwards grits the teeth to get the Australians going forward over the halfway line. Nice ball from Benbo. On to Bob. Flat ball there from Moffat. Beautiful ball from Edwards. And they had a little bit of work to do out there on the left-hand side. Shawnee Francis to get it across the line. But back-to-back -back tries from the Australians as of what tries they have been. Sean Francis. Again, the great setup from Jamin Bob as he entered into the field of play. The sharp passing. A great try there from Australia. A really clinical performance to start the night today. Jones, cross field. As Barnett feeds it from half. Here he goes, E4, early ball. Out in front of Rollinson, uh, Turner, my apologies. He'll come back to the seven. Jones, Sinclair, got a good combination in the middle. They set up for the first try. Has the touch been claimed? No, it hasn't. Jones is going back to back tries. And they level up the scoring. And a great response there from New Zealand. It looks like a little pit play that they've been working on. They would have reviewed the, the space. And another great try. Teamwork here again. We can see in the replay between Matty Sinclair and E4 Jones. Just holding up that ball. Just enough time. Puts it right on a plate for him. And he stretches out for a great try. Well done there, New Zealand. The school's locked up two apiece. Pride feeds it to Hennessy. Pride plays it within the center and chooses to hold on. Might have been aware of the call coming forward. They were going to get the repeat set. New Zealand not coming forward off their line. You can see the on-field referees, Kim Skelly, is really active with the New Zealand defense. Hennessy skipping across field, gets in between. You can see David's there. He knew he had to be there, just couldn't though at the end of the day. An unfortunate defensive read there as Hennessy just takes it early in the touch count and gets over for the third try. That's why some consider him the best in the world. Just makes the most of all the space that he's given. Lance David's too slow to react. He really should have lifted to, to take away that option. Uh, and Australia extend their lead or, or add on to their lead now. And back and forward between these two teams. Graham tries to get on the out of Edwards. Goes the fake switch in. Decent contact there from Mal Kenny as well. Barnett will send it back infield. Graham picks up, plays out the back. Nice flick, held on to. poipi has got work to do. Big drive in the corner and the touch has been made from Notley. Oh, huge scramble. Scramble, I should say, from the Aussies. Notley been heavily involved in attack, but that was a massive touch in defence. And those are the game winners. That's the difference in these kind of games is who will put their body on the line to save their save their team when it's needed. And now Notley picking up good metres as well. He'll earn a well-deserved break. Had a huge game against Japan this morning. And he's come out in fighting fashion here in game two against New Zealand. Penalty here for the Aussies. Just get pointed back to where the mark is. Harry Griffin, ball in hand. Taps and restarts. Solid contact. Referees will let that one play on. Benbo and Jamin Bob working in the middle. Griffin hanging around as well. Moffat getting them to go back out open side. Benbo gets away from one, rips one out to Kenny. Sends it back in to Griffin. They're happy with their defence so far, New Zealand. Griffin... Sends a beautiful left to right. Beautiful read, though. Poi Hippi came in and put the pressure on. He was there to make the touch, even if Jamin Bob made the catch on that one, but turns over possession, and they're coming out. Great beaters. Second touch, and they're at the halfway line. Really well done there from Willison. David's trying to feed off the back end of it. Sends it back inside to Forks. Sinclair will play it. 
Early ball, Jones, left foot, right foot almost squeezing through. Oh, we've got an injury here. Jamin Bob, he's clutch. He's grabbing at the arm, I think it might be, or wrist. Yeah, he looks like he's in some real pain. They'll look to make a substitution here. If he's out for the game, that's going to be a real loss for Australia. Absolutely. And it looks like we've got a forward pass call from the referees, so Australia will now have position coming back. Space out here on the right-hand side, and Corey Russell takes full advantage. So for the first time, we haven't really seen either team throughout the series go away from their box to make some changes. Mm. They just did momentarily there. And again, they come out to the right-hand side with Palau. As Adam Pride, he'll tuck it under the wing. Clean pick up from Hennessy, sends a link ball, getting hands on the football there in that turner. They're really looking for that right to left option. We'll keep an eye on it and see if they go back to it here. Pride plays it. Hennessy comes back to the open side, right foot, sends it out over the top. Kenny's got work to do. Great scramble to come across and make the touch. Beautiful work there from William Hamilton. It's Adam Pride. Just forward, Hennessy, right foot, sends it again. Over to Kenny this time, I don't think. Yes, no, they do make the touch. And the pass has come out of the hands forward. So New Zealand hold on. Yeah, really strong defensive positioning there from Will Hamilton. He had a couple of people to cover on that last hit, but still managed to get out to the, the, the winger on a couple of those plays to secure the turnover for New Zealand. Turn up. Picks up good metres. Nice work. Onto the field is Davies. Kudukunga straightening them up. Nice put. Pudurangi into the in-goal area. Looking for support. Edwards makes the touch. Well, this is back and forth between the teams now. Contact from Kudukunga. Coming up and making the touch on Russell. He feeds it now to Edwards. Griffin kicks away, coming out of the box gets good contact, oh. too much huge metres here from Harry Griffin, that's going to be a real difference maker, we saw an earlier try off strong yards Australia going back to what they know best, move forward oh, fourth pace. substitution as well it was solid contact, but they continued on Australia as well, I don't know they give away the penalty Time for New Zealand to lift off the line here. Under three minutes to go. You see Cridlin hit the deck as well. Comes out of the fingertips there of Norman. We see a lot of players hitting the, the, the ground tonight. It's a very physical game. Let's nice work from Davies. Kudukanga gets him over the halfway line. Jones back out onto the park. Good metres going forward from Willison. Jones footwork. Oh, goes the short ball, punching through the hole there was Forks. Probably just had a little bit too much sauce on it. Although those options have worked for them so far in the game, in the middle of the field, there's still, with the defence compressing, opportunities for New Zealand to look wider as well. Griffin feeds it out the back to Cridlin. Oh, nice work coming in and making the touch. Hamilton yet again. It's been asked to do plenty of defensive work. Notley skips away from the defender. Benbo feeds it to Bob. Great to see him back out on the field. Hennessy feeds it out the back. Notley can't get it away. Comes off Hamilton. Repeat set here for Australia. Dylan Hennessy a real threat every time he's got the ball. But New Zealand so far standing up to the task. Here he is, ball in hand. Jamin sweeps, left foot, tries to get in underneath. The touch is made right in front of the referee and might have got some communication. Oh, it was a bit of back chat there for Australia. So Jamin might have thought that he got the try. Must have let the referee know. And they're penalties that you don't want to really give away when you're actually in possession and just giving cheap possession back to the opposition team. Not just that, but they're also momentum swing. Because look, now we've got third, fourth touch coming up and New Zealand are in a great opportunity to strike again. And they're on the back foot here, getting through. Davids, just shy of the line, and Hennessy claims the touch. Uh, Legion Hotham being a real threat tonight. Not afraid to take the ball in hand and, and push to try and break through that Australian line. Again, we see Australia just slowing the ball down, just trying to regather before they get back into it again. 
Notley gets good contact. Yeah, good call. Again, physical. Like we saw in the women's New Zealand, they're probably winning the, the physical battle so far in this game. That time it goes in their favour. And this is a really big opportunity for him. Sinclair sinks it early. David's left foot. Oof. 20 seconds to go before the halftime break. Can they strike? Right on the hooter. Graham feeds it. Sinclair has to juggle it. David's. There'll be one play to come. Graham holds it up at the line. They play oh, through. Play on call. And the try scored. Legion Felix Hotham. We saw communication there from the referee with the play on call. It looks like Jake Notley was called offside. So the full advantage was given to New Zealand here, as we can see. Great catch there by Hotham. And great awareness of the positioning that they needed to be in to strike back with a great try. Yeah, it's still uh, plenty of time on the clock. My apologies. I'm trying to keep one eye on the clock, which is in the far corner. It may have indicated that the, the clock was winding down, but there is still plenty of time left on it. And Adam Pride, after leaking points down the other end, the Australian Emus, with another one of their experienced players, they hit straight back and reclaim that lead. Again, Adam Pride, another season campaigner for the Australian Emus. And just a really quick shift of the ball. Got on the outside there of Kudukanga. One, one hand stretched out and an easy try for Australia. Forks and Sinclair working in the middle. Ford Jones now getting switched in. He receives the ball back. Footwork, amazing! <laughs> Left foot gets it done on Cridland. Wow, my goodness, he is a player. His feet are amazing. Get an insurance claim on those bad boys. <laughs> third try for the first half, third try for the game for Ethel Jones. You can't, you can't leave him alone. This is probably one of those plays you need to put two on. Australia will have to tighten up their defence and look to compress whenever Ethel Jones has the ball in hand. Oh, yeah, he was happy about that one as well as he crossed over the stripe. Carrying on from where he left off in game one is E4 Jones. Now Australia and Pete Norman just directing traffic out there. Plenty of communication. Talking with Harry Griffin. And here he is, Griffin. Early ball out to Russell. Nice defensive read this time around from Davids. Does he hold on to it? Yeah, does so. Flicks it out as well. They're in trouble here, New Zealand. Out, Kenny. Bit of footwork to do. Sums it up. Flicks it back to halfway. I think this is closer than what it actually looks like, but they're going to point to the spot. Wow, Mal Kenny with the footwork one-on-one. -on -one. But just when it looked like New Zealand had them covered, they were struggling there to get the ball out. Norman's on the ground. He flicks it out. And they just overcommitted a little bit, but the footwork and the finish from Kenny had work to do. Yeah, you can see Trey Poy will be just short of the line, which is the call that the referee is communicating, that he didn't quite get onside before the touch was made. So Australia now extending their lead. Looking to try and get some momentum back. Oh, and just losing footing out there on the right-hand side. Finn Barnett. Norman Putarangi sending the early ball. Contact there on Notley. It's Benbo. Bob plays it. Hennessy. Nice little battle on. Falls in the hands of Sean Francis. Everything going the way of Australia at the moment. Just the little things. The little bit of rub of the green going their way. But that was a classy play. Still oh, to be able on. to get it. No, they're going to take on. it back. I think we've got a pass that's gone forward here. So we're bringing the ball back. So Sean Francis' try Ooh. will be taken off him. We'll see if we can get a replay, but it looks like the, the decision's been made. I can only imagine the, it, it, it's the bat on out to Francis. Yeah. So New Zealand escape on that occasion. Good metres for Mitter Graham through the middle. Oh, yeah, this one's going to go against New Zealand. And they just can't let the frustration go in. And there's a bit of finger pointing as well from the skipper. 
And yeah, all shoulders coming into the ruck there. Oh, and Russell, this time they won't be able to take it away, will they? Oh, hang on. Oh, he's gone out. Going over the sideline was the call. Referees just hold play up. And I feel like one of the Australians might have had a little chat here, so they're getting frustrated because they're so close to getting points, but it's just not working for them at the moment. And it's Sean Francis who's had a little couple of words to say. It's the fourth substitution. Hooter sounds in the background, and we'll take a breath. I think we all need it. <laughs> Emotions are running high here at White Hills. Absolutely. Well, what an electric finish to that first half, but the whole 20 minutes in its entirety was just traditional test match football between these two teams. Australia, slight advantage on the scoreboard, 5-4, but what a physical, what a fast, intense game this has been between the two teams. And this might be the new benchmark of what we expect for test series in terms of the physicality, in terms of the clinicalness on attack. This is what we're going to expect, and this is so exciting for our game, but equally, whoever can keep calm and keep composed in that second half is going to be the one that's going to come through. Oh, don't go anywhere. You've got to be back. Again, just like we had in the Open Women's game, just wanting to make sure that their presence is felt. Hey, we're not scared. We're rising up to this task. It's just making sure that they can maintain a level head without going over the top. The last thing they want is to have a test series costed because of poor discipline. And on the flip side, the Australians, they'll just be looking to try and keep a cool head, and that's uh, that's their coach, Phil Guymore, to a T. So cool, so calm. Might be something that they address. Just Players stay in the game. Ready. And they'll be looking to, to wrap the series up. I can't wait to see how the second 20 minutes is going to unfold. Between these two teams, Australia in possession to start the second half. Harry Griffin taps off. Jamin Bob, like we said, took a bit of a knock there in the first half, but it's good to see him back out. And Edwards, you can see three touch blacks there, ready to make the touch. They'll reset as Edwards will play the ball. Griffin sends a huge bomb out to pull out, and Barnett is out to make the call. A good start defensively for the touch blacks. Sinclair, good to teeth, goats him going forward on the first touch. And through the hands they go to Davids. Playing it on the halfway line with Turner. Really good transition here from New Zealand. E4 Jones on the ball now. Will play it. Gets it back. A little bit of footwork, trying to dive in at the line. Point hippie. Not much room to move down the right-hand side of the field. It's Benbo. Tucks it in. Now dishes from half. It's Griffin out in front of Edwards. Had to work to reel that one in. Notley had a huge first half for the Australians. Pride, one of the try scorers, is Moffat. Turns it back on the inside, flicked out the back. That came off Barnett, puts his hand up straight away and indicates that he did get hands on the ball. Repeat set, and the wind has just started to pick up a little bit again. It's caused havoc. Well, not so much havoc for the players. They've adjusted quite accordingly, but it has been a little bit of a factor out here today. One underrated aspect of the wind is actually the communication out on the field. The wind definitely blows it away, particularly when you've got a referee trying to communicate to players. Windy days, it's much harder. Good contact there on Adam Pride. He comes back to the seven-meter line. Moffat, ball in two hands. Corey Russell holds it up, pumps it. Pride puts it down. They're on the back foot here. Pride and Russell linking up. And a great recovery in the midfield from New Zealand. Notley holds it, scoops it, throws it over the shoulder to Russell. Can't quite connect up. Great cover defence there again by Finley Barney. But uh, during that set, some really strong work in the middle there by Daniel Morgan Pitsarong here as well. Here he goes. They take the second hit up for the touch blacks. Good metres as they go away from their bot. It's with Willison. Boy Hippie coming in field to do some work. Davids and Graham switching out the back. Felix Hotham. Nice little inside ball. Just came out of the hands. Almost caught them off guard. Nice little sneaky trick play there. Rome comes up to make the first touch on Cridlin. Not Lee across field. Hennessy out onto the park. Norman 
Really strong metres from Australia here. Early ball from Ben by Norman's on the run. Puts it out to Griffin. Again, Poi Hippie. And coming in on for the wing. And pressure on. Force the mistakes. Sinclair just getting it down on the mark. Penalty here to New Zealand and a relieving one for them. This game's been played at a blistering pace. Really important for them to also focus on making sure they're getting onside. Sinclair off the restart. Gets away from Griffin. Eventually comes back at him to make the touch. No one there for Sinclair to connect up with. Boy Hippie makes his way back out onto the right hand wing position. Sinclair. Oh, picked off here. Open space. Has he got the whole distance to go the way? Griffin, they're coming back at him. We know how quick Boy Hippie is. And Griffin plays it smart and gets it down on the deck. Of course, off an intercept. The first touch is zero, so they'll have an extra one up their sleeve. Gives Australia the opportunity to get some changes onto the park. Justin Cridlin out there now for them. They go over the top of him. Edwards gets the bat on and Francis might have just lost it there potentially in the lights. Wasn't too sure. They probably didn't need to really bat it on. Still touches up their sleeve. Edwards just must have felt like there was space out there available to Sean Francis. Meters going forward from Davies. Just took a little while for the half to get in place. They need to punch forward. Kurukanga gets that done for them now. Ifo Jones, right foot, plays it out the back. This time, Davids with a huge bat on. Too much on it. Goes over the head of the number 11, William Hamilton. The downtime in the middle of the field is something that New Zealand should look at addressing. You don't want the ball to be on the ground too long in this kind of uh, exchange. Cridlin. Good metres from Notley. As Kenny feeds it from half. Pride and Moffat in the middle for the Emus. Here goes Moffat, left foot. And he gets caught in possession. It's been a little bit of a positional change there as well. We've seen Moffat in the middle and Russell out in the link for the Australians in this game. You see some of those tactical switches just to keep the opposition guessing here. As we see New Zealand moving back towards the this sub box, getting some fresh legs on. Forks rolling forward, beautiful pick up there from Sinclair. Comes off the left foot, gets into the in goal area, looks for support, and Palau almost tackling Finn Barnett as he gets over the line. He's hurt himself as well here, Georgie. Looks Referees like will take their time to come together. Yeah, there's quite a lot to assist there. First of all, the position. Second of all, whether there was any obstruction. They're going to give this. Fantastic effort there from New Zealand. Nice concern as well for Palau. Shown. Have a look at this. You can see, you can only imagine him may have been short of the line. It looks like he was in position potentially to make the touch. What I think it could be is an early touch call. You can see how yeah, he yeah. grabbed him early. Yep. But then there was a the release. Finn Barnett was able to catch the ball and then dot it down just in time there. And it's great refereeing, isn't it? Just yeah. to, to let the, the play continue. They took their time just to come together to get the decision right. Davids comes up, makes a good touch here on Norman. So we're locked up at five tries apiece. Game two in the Trans-Tasman series here between Australia and New Zealand. Beautiful ball. Griffin feeds it out the back. Bit of work to do here for Francis and the touch is made. Poi Hippie, Wow. That was a massive touch because he looked like he was done on the outside. We've got another Australian player down, and it is Harry Griffin in the middle of the field. Yeah, he's in quite a lot of pain. It looks like it might be his right knee. He can hardly stand, so we've got some time off uh, yeah, court he, as he gets some oof. medical attention in the background. You can see this is probably the byproduct of what a physical encounter this is as players put their body on the line for their country. Yeah, he does not look comfortable, and that's a potentially a big out. You can see him on screen. Harry Griffin. Well, we'll keep an eye on him. Fingers crossed. It's not as bad as what it looks, but he did not look comfortable at all. It's Tiwi Davies goes forward. Kurukanga, fifth and final. I don't think they know the count. Yeah, they lost it there. Was... Yeah, there was some confusion. Obviously, we had the injury stoppage. So just communication important between the New Zealand players then. Oh, that had to be forward. I almost thought that Cridland was going to be a decoy. 
and they were going to play out the back. He was a couple of steps in front. Very uncharacteristic error from Australia. Yeah, just overrunning that one. Getting the basics right is really important on transition. Sinclair, who's injecting himself into the second half, instrumental in scoring their last try, or setting it up, I should say, for New Zealand. Jones, did the final for them now. Not much doing, falls in the hands of Francis, and that will be the zero touch. First touch, now on Jamin Bob. New Zealand take the opportunity to make a couple of changes. Davids and Barnett onto the field. Oh, what's the call here? Well, it looked like it came off Hamilton, didn't it? Yeah, a little bit of confusion there, I think, as a spectator. Yeah, you're wondering whether or not there was a play at the ball there. But we carry on. I think this is touch five now. It will be. Russell picks it up. Oh, Oh, one of those ones you want. They hurt, don't they? (laughs) Again, it's one of those sets, particularly where there was not much going on for Australia. And to give a penalty away on the fifth, it's really... Quite hurtful for New Zealand. Moffat tries to feed it through, but they don't take advantage of the repeat set that they get in Australia. So the pressure relief momentarily for New Zealand. As Graham throws a dummy, picks up metres. Great work from the veteran as Barnett comes infield to do some work. Francis comes up to make the touch. Tiwi Davis. There's claims, they're calling that there were seven players on for New Zealand, the Australians. The referees continue to play on. Felix Hotham out the back, and they couldn't just quite get the final pass out there. The op- Davies. Yeah, the option is on there. You can see that they're looking for their two-step tuck play. It might be another option for them to go back to again. Moffat. Notley gets his way back out onto the field. Cridlin. Just tuck his head and try to get the ball down cleanly. Norman has a look. Switches straight back in to Cridlin. Now there to make the touch. Mikey Willison. Good defensive read in the middle for New Zealand. It's Tiwi Davies. Gets him going forward as his turn up. Davids. Speed out of the box is nice, but they're a little bit tight in the midfield here in New Zealand. E4 Jones picks up. There's a play down off the ball. Jones gets it out to Davids. Davids does a good job to get it to Barnett. He's just going to hold it and finish it off in the corner. Touch is made eventually. Contact on Norman. It's Cridlin. Also gets a solid shot. Third touch. Again, a little bit of confusion as they're making their way to the box. And Australia have been done this time around. Again, I think it's an interchange infringement. Yeah, it looks like it, although the ball's been brought forward, so it can't be seven players on. Yeah. Potentially that the player had gone out or, or something other wise, but New Zealand now in a great position to respond. Oh, can they potentially take the lead in this game? Graham from half, Sinclair gets it back. Graham, back to Sinclair! No touch made by Jamin Bob. And they have done exactly just that. They're in front, New Zealand. 6-5 now on the scoreboard. What a fight back it's been for them. We spoke about big players arising on the big occasions in those two players with the most experience for New Zealand here. Mitter Graham and Matt Sinclair teaming up. 1-2 combo there just to get in between the Australian defenders for a great try. 6-5 New Zealand. Let's go. New Zealand fighting to keep the series alive. Pride. Russell feeds it back to Hennessy. Forced to retrieve. New contact stands up Hennessy in the play of the ball. Referees say play on. They give the penalty this time around. There's a little bit of a foot in the play of the ball. The discipline from New Zealand has been really good in the second half. They want to maintain that. They don't want to give away anything too easy to Australia here. Notley short side. Does he get on the outside? David claims the touch. All smiles, Lance Davids as casual and as cool as you like. Notley almost getting on the outside of him. Now they feed it out the back. Good contact because they were going lateral there, Australia. Notley's going to head to the interchange area. 
replacement player coming on, Jack Edwards. Again, good contact there on Norman. Nothing doing. Has to get back to his feet. Hennessy gets into the in-goal area. There's some contact off the ball. There's going to be a penalty here to Australia. David's hitting the deck there as Norman was coming through. So the Australian players are asking for full advantage. They think that they should have been awarded the try, but the referee has come back and given a penalty instead. So we're just having some discussions here between uh, Hennessy and Dave Baggio just to get an understanding of what's going on. They'll maintain position, and it looks like they'll get another six. Looks like a push off the ball was the call from, from Baggio there. So more defensive pressure here for New Zealand. Russell trying to get the defence to bite. And Kudukanga coming up again. Another foot in the ruck. And off to the sideline he goes. So it must have been three penalties given away within that seven metre zone, which is seeing Pokaiai Kudukanga head over to the sideline. Advantage Australia. 6-5 in terms of players on the field. A make or break opportunity now for Australia. Hennessy skips. Oh, almost snatched there from Lance Davids. A little bit of contact off the ball. Incidental. Definitely no intent in that. Just two bodies clashing on that occasion. Davids and Hennessy as Edwards plays it. Russell forced to retrieve. Geez, if New Zealand can hold out somehow here, they'll get a real lift from this. Can they manage to do it? Norman's on the run. They've got to have a numbers advantage somewhere and they find it. And as casually as you like, Dylan Hennessy rolls over the stripe to get the points on the board and to level up the scores as well. They knew how to make full advantage and manipulate that numbers advantage. And we see the replay might pop up in the corner here. Just holding their width, the play coming through, going wide and Dylan Hennessy strolls over for an easy pointer. Scores locked at six apiece here in game two. Of the men's open division at the Trans Tasman series. E4 Jones looking for offside players. The inside coverage though from Cridland. Looked like it was onside and now the penalty is going to go to Australia. And the forward pass is the call. Cridland takes the tap and gets him going forward on the first touch. Down the sideline they go. Hennessy plays it. It's Pride. Rolls them forward. Norman picks up. Goes short to Pride. They've got numbers out here. Edwards sums it up and tries to get on the outside. Davids makes another huge touch. He's been a big player for New Zealand tonight. Davies makes good metres. Now as Graham flows off the back. Heads over to Poipi. He comes back in field to Felix Hotham. Just sliding across the face is Willison. He gets it down now. Fifth and final touch. Felix hoffman has been dangerous. Play on the call, is it? No, they say Pride was onside. Francis rolls it. Gets us back underway. It's Norman. Goes forward on the first touch. Here he is. Taking another hit up. Plays it on the halfway line. Benbo. Nice roll coming in as Bob feeds it out the back. Notley sums it up beautifully. Francis Bobble juggles it and turns it over. Wow, it was electric there from Notley. Just the footwork to get on the outside. Created the overlap in the space, but just that bobble was enough to put some pressure on Sean Francis. Penalty here to New Zealand. An offside call there from Dave Baggio. Australia just a little bit too keen, leaving the line too early. New Zealand again. Ball in the right end of the field for them. Nice roll into the line. He's got strike players out there. He for Jones. Here he is. Ball in hand. A little bit of footwork. Oh, I've got another player down. That's not Jamin clutching at that shoulder again. Can't quite see who's down for Australia. I think it might be Jamin Bob. He's been courageous to get back out there and he's gone down. Yeah, really, really looking like he's in pain there. Unfortunately, he's had a really, really strong game, especially on his drives on transition. And potentially. He's looking in much more discomfort than he was the first time around and he, he was not looking in a good position that first time he went down on his shoulder 
we can see in the Australian sub box, Harry Griffin with some ice on his knee too, so it looks like he hasn't returned to the game. Another troop down, they'll be battling with 12. So it could be an important moment in the game. He's back up to his feet. I dare say you might not see Jamin back in this game. Two troops down here for Australia. Sinclair, open side. Davies comes off the left foot. The touch is made. Oh, and we've got another Australian player down. Benbo, he's just clutching at the shoulder now himself as well. well this is going to have to take a big effort for the Aussies. And Benbo does a great job after injuring the shoulder to take the next hit up going forward. They're running out of legs here, the Aussies. We see players down on the deck yet again from both teams. Oh, it's all happening out here in this game. Hennessy on the outside shoulder. Norman feeds it. Russell, they get it across, and Davids again comes up and puts the pressure on. Excellent defensive pressure there from New Zealand right throughout that set. Let's see if they can turn it into some something for, for all of us to really shout about. Davids down the sideline. His middle comes back on the field. Willison fit the final touch. Graham has a look at the defence, plays it out the back. Felix Hotham switches in. Poipi puts it in, and a touch of pass is going to come. Enterprising play for New Zealand. Hennessy down the sideline. Poipi claiming the no touch, and he'll get it. Huge play. Huge moment. And it looks like they're advancing the penalty too for not handing the ball over. So New Zealand in prime position now. Only seconds left on the clock. Turner plays it, receives it back, comes back in. Diving at the line and low. The touch is there. Pride. Hooter sounds in the background. That'll be it. They can't get to play the ball away. And we've got the scores locked up here at full time. Which, Harley, it means we're going into extra time. How exciting. You couldn't have scripted this any better. I can't believe it. Six all, Australia versus New Zealand. Men's one open. Players, one minute. So what happens here in this space, of course, is we have a short one-minute break. The referees will regroup. The team that tapped off to start the second half will start with the ball in position, going the same way. We'll play for two minutes. If the scores are still tied, we'll drop to three on three. Well, well, this is one of the, the most exciting aspects of our games. A lot of other sports, they don't have this type of format for it. Go to ground. You've got a lot of different factors and uh, things to consider when you're out there on the field. So looking forward to seeing how this one unfolds. It looks to me like Australia will start moving right to left and New Zealand will start on defence. So Australia have Jack Edwards, Corey Russell, Dylan Hennessy and Pete Norman out on the field. New Zealand, Lance Davids, Matt Sinclair, Finn Barnett, and Matt Turner. The start in defence. Here we go, extra time. Does the series go to a side tomorrow, or can Australia wrap it up? Hennessy just flings on down to Russell. And Davids, who's been huge in defence, he had to start in defence here in extra time. Russell pumps it. Here he is picking it off again, Lance Davids. Huge turn in the game there. Of course, the zero touch from that intercept. Australia really struggling to find their feet and getting back on side. This is a prime opportunity here for New Zealand to strike. And it's given them the opportunity to get some fresh players out on the field where the four that started for Australia remain in defence. Solid contact on Puturangi. E4 Jones, right foot gets it in. Oh, no. Now we've got a call for a forward pass. Oh. Wow. They still think they've got it won, New Zealand. They were still shaking and high fives. They've got to turn it around and get back in defence. Huge moment. Norman to Edwards down the sideline. Now Australia will get the fresh legs on. Cridland comes onto the field. Benbo, who was clutching at the shoulder earlier on. Cridland, Hennessy, who remained out on the park. Moffat. They feed it around the back. It's opened up here for Justin Cridland. No, they're going to take it away from Australia for a forward pass. They thought they had it won. Now they've thrown the ball away and it will get marched upfield. What more can happen in this game? I can't believe it. The time's starting to tick away. Every chance now that we may be down to three players. We'll just wait for the correspondence from the referees.
Lance Davids will tap off to get us back underway in this extra time fixture. A little pop out play to Graham. Davids, they need to get their replacement players on the field. No half here as Kurukanga eventually gets there. A little bit of space out here for Jones. Good recovery from Moffat. Kurukanga sends it back in field. Turner, do they chance their hands? They hold it. They keep calm heads. So we didn't get a try in that two minute period. We dropped down to three on three. The game is live now. Next try wins this match. Jones. Can he get it done? A little bit of a juggle off the left foot. Loses his footing. They've got the numbers. No, the touch has been made. Cridlin, he points at Jones. Not happy with the call E4 Jones. Cridlin says, I got the touch. They've got to get their replacement players out here. Notley, you can't give him space. Gets on the outside of Davis. Bit of space down the left-hand side. Notley, he'll take the touch. A big risk taking a dive there by Lance Davids, but Matt Sinclair is able to clean it up. Cridlin, Notley, he's over to the sideline, penalty given, and that's just going to give the opportunity now for Australia to make two changes. Norman stays on the park. Hennessy's just come on. And we've got Jack Edwards out on the right-hand side. Good touch from Sinclair. You've got to watch the footwork here of Dylan Hennessy. Sinclair, the experience, forcing Hennessy back. They play it. Edwards feeds it to him early. Hennessy, oh, Turner gets his hands to the ball. And a penalty. That's two penalties now. I've never been in this position. What if there's a oh. third? They might have to play three on two. We wouldn't want to see that. We want to see the game one in, a, in the three on three scenario. Here he goes. Dylan, open ball. And nice touch, Davids. Every time Norman has had the ball in this game, Davids has been up in his face. But they've got the experience out there with Norman and Hennessy. Here he goes, Norman. Put a footwork out to Jack Edwards. And it opens up for them. And Australia, in dramatic fashion, have won the Trans-Tasman Series. The game so the cruel for New Zealand. So cruel. Jack An amazing performance for them. One of the best games of men's open touch football you will ever see. But the champions, the defending champions, they still get it done. One for the ages. One to look back and watch for many years to come. Congratulations again to Australia for coming through. Clutch moment right at the end there. Three on three in the drop-off. And they secured the Trans-Tasman Series for another year. Oh.